Welcome to day 13 of Critical Encounters Villainous Yule Calendar for December 2022. Here we get in the holiday spirit and take a quick look at some random festive aspect of the game. So let's peek behind the door and see what our so-called villains are up to. Well, tonight on our 25 Days of Villainous, I have a very special guest with me tonight. Everybody knows him. This is Crimson from the Marvel Champions Monthly Podcast. Crimson, how are you doing? Doing great. It's it's a uh, it's an honor to be here. It's an honor to have you. We, we have not had you on the show before. I'm so glad you could come on for this. Yeah, I predominantly do a lot of hero stuff, so <laughs> you don't see me on the villain side too often. Yeah, very true. <laughs> we are sort of at odds, our shows, <laughs> uh, but not really because it's all a great community, and I oh, love yeah. listening to you guys. So, what we're gonna do tonight is just I just want to talk about X Men. We've got We've got Crimson, X-Men, Xmas here. I want to know what you think about the X-Men that we've gotten so far, which ones you really want to see, heroes, villains, that sort of thing. I know you've been waiting for X-Men for a while. Now that they're here, what do you think? Oh, I, I'm very, very happy with the the X-Men pool that we got so far. Um, there are a couple that I'm, you know, I was more excited for and then ended up playing them and, I just didn't enjoy them as much as I thought I would. And then there's some that I was like, I wasn't that excited for. And then once I got to play them, I was like, Ooh, so like Colossus, I'm not a big Colossus fan, just in general in the X-Men universe, but his mechanic has been wonderful. It has been just a, a joy to play. But the big one for me was Cyclops. Um, that hero is phenomenal. And I could not believe how broken I can make him. <laughs> uh, well, and I always hear that Cyclops is really a, a villain of the X-Men, so that's okay with yeah. me. Um, uh, a lot yeah, of people I, like to hate on Cyclops. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I like Cyclops, too. I really like the attachment stuff. It's like something different that you get to do, and then, you know, blast him with your visor and stuff, so... Yeah, he, he's been fun for us as well here uh, at my game table. Yeah, I, I've had a blast playing him. I, I was really excited for Shadowcat, and unfortunately, I I found that she she has some timing issues that make her very clunky with like tapping for the resource on the one side, but then you're in the wrong form to use it. Um, I've really, unfortunately, kind of just dropped her from my my core group of x-men that i'm playing right now um and then phoenix phoenix has her own issues i still think she can be very phenomenal but she is definitely a lower tier okay uh i i i like shadow cats kind of puzzly but i definitely hear you i have a yeah. recent game it's like oh i need this resource so i can do this thing but i need to be in the other form to do the thing i want to do yeah. so yeah she she, she can be a. Uh, she can be a fun puzzle to try to figure out, but she can be pretty powerful. The whole, like, yes. just not taking any damage. And if you do it right, just, like, never take any damage. So Yeah. If you could bank resources in this game, her whole kit would change. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then Phoenix. Have you, uh, you were talking about, you know, playing her on the show. Like, uh, put down that one where when she dies, she then goes crazy. You know, like, she doesn't really die. Have you Have you been able to play that with her yep pr pretty much the, that's the standard phoenix deck that i'm playing right now is just uh uh keep working on thor keep thor down i'm obviously very much a justice player i'm a control style player you know big okay. blue and magic and uh the, the my whole play with her is to control the thor control the timing of the villain and then later let the villain just go ham on me and you know, the back and forth slugfest until he kills me, and then I come back even more powerful. Yeah, yeah. And then just rip into him. Yeah. Yeah. Seems unfair, but okay. <laughs> uh, we are recording this a good amount of time before it's actually released, so we are going to have some other X-Men heroes out by the time this comes out, but what are you thinking so far of... Have you got a chance to play Storm or Wolverine? What do you think about Rogue or Gambit coming up here? I've got a chance to play everything up. I haven't had a chance to play Rogue. 
Um, I have played a little bit of Gambit. He's quite fun, especially with his uh, uniqueness of how he operates. Um, with the damage on one side and thwarting on the other, um, the, the fact that he's able to do so much stuff in alter ego form has been a joy. I have only got to play one game with Storm, and I really was not a fan. So she's going to take a little bit more time for me to uh, figure out. Um, I, I really don't like the weather deck, and the, the, the negative or positive on everything is a little rough. Um, but I think she can be a very strong uh, character, given the chance. But the holy grail of this whole card game has been Wolverine. I have played him in every aspect. I have even made a gray Wolverine deck where I'm not using any aspect cards. <laughs> uh, oh. He he's so his kit, just his kit is extremely powerful. If if a person were to go pick up any one hero from this last year, Wolverine should be that one hero. He is that good and he can play any aspect. He especially being a 222 um with all of his with his two upgrades his claws everything he has just been phenomenal as a, a character that's a strong endorsement of yeah. any character this year go get him because there have been some good characters this year yeah um <laughs> i mean i have played him protection it's a very greedy protection it's not protecting allies it's just him protecting himself and with between his healing being able to heal up so quickly he's great in protection obviously aggression is his i mean i think i did like 27 damage on one turn with him in in aggression um i he is a very powerful hero yeah he he seems fun too um the piercing is nice for the heroes uh yeah and and he's (laughs) He's got some good thwart cards in his deck, right? Like he's a tracker yeah. in the comics, so like kind of makes sense that he'd be pretty good at that. Yeah, um, he gets he gets multiple card draw effects between the tracking and berserker rage. And berserker rage, if you can get like a one damage minion or even a two damage minion out, you're negating that that effect from his heal, but you're also getting the extra card draw. Plus, if the villain attacks you, you're getting another card draw. I mean, it's not abnormal to have six or seven cards in in your hero form hand yeah and cards are cards in your hand that's that's where the power is yeah yeah Yeah. absolutely all right so those are the x-men we have out at least as heroes and we've got a ton of x-men allies that kind of go with it but are there any x-men heroes we haven't gotten that you just have to have like you really are waiting for and that'll that'll be you know that'll make your day so if if i was in control uh, of of the universe here um the next box set i would make it an apocalypse box set uh, okay. with the four horsemen and the apocalypse theme um i would be running i i would say the, the heroes we're missing are kind of our our we're missing Iceman. We're, yes. we're we're missing some core x-men that we we know and love um a beast hero card would be great he, i mean although his ally is really one of the best allies that have come out the beast has just been great uh night nightcrawl even though he's an ally uh core hero that we we would like to see um the other ones now this is miracle christmas land right of course that's this whole month is ma- magic christmas land so yeah i would love deadpool He's he's kind of a neutral hero, you know. Like he does team up with X Men once in a while. He is a mutant. He, he's a fan favorite. I would love to see Deadpool. Now is he? He's not really an X Men, right? But he correct. He he's, he's a, but he's a mutant, right? He's like the Punisher is to the Avengers or the Defenders. You know, he's not really part of the group, but he shows up and helps out. Deadpool's right. kind of the same way with the X Men. Like he shows up and helps out usually there's something in it for him. He's an anti-hero. He's not a villain, but he's not a hero. Yeah. He leads um, our way a little bit. So yeah. Yeah. Deadpool could be fun. Um, the other big one. I know Deadpool mostly from the movies um, and just a little comics. And I would hope we'd get some like fourth wall breaking stuff with him. Right. Yeah. That would be yeah. fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, he is the merc with the mouth, right? <laughs> right. Um, another big one that I would love to see. Now, I'm going to date myself a little bit. Um, you know, I grew up in the 90s. Um, th- there was a comic book. Um, I believe it was just an, an X-Men like uh, arc where there was a character called Joseph, who we later found out was Magneto. Uh, but in, now I remember as a kid, he had lost his memory um, and he became an official X-Men and everything. And he was great. Um, I think later they retconned it to he's a clone of Eric. Um, but I would love to see like an alternate Magneto as a hero, like we did with Nova. Um, I think that would just be cool because Magneto's obviously a fan favorite. Yep. Everybody wants to play Magneto. There are times when Magneto sides with the X-Men. Yeah, and Even- we know we know Caleb's favorite villain is magneto uh yeah. and we know and he Boggs was on our show and he said magneto and mj was on our show and said magneto so i don't know why how he couldn't get a magneto they did it with nebula they can do it with magneto right exactly and if they did joseph who's supposedly a clone it would not interfere with the magneto villain because that's eric um, right right I, and there, there's enough images in the comic books where you have and and joseph almost doesn't even look like Magneto. He's got long white hair instead of, you know, the shorter hair that Magneto has. Um, he looks great in the, in the 90s X-Men costume. It's, it's great. There's great images of him out there. Um, and he would just be great as a, a character to, to get. Um, now, on the villain side, I would love to see a standalone Mr. Sinister pack come out. Okay. But... We, that's part of my love for the uh, 90s cartoon. Um, I would love to see a Mr. Sinister. St- you know, it doesn't need to be in a box set. It just needs just needs to be Mr. Sinister. Uh, I would love that. I, I would I, I would be so happy to see that come out. I'm not a big fan of Mojo, so I'm probably going to... I mean, I won't skip the Mojo pack, but I don't see myself playing it that much. The Mojo Pack looks neat with all the different scenarios and the modularity and the the way it's supposed to run. So that yeah. it it could be fun mechanically, even if like thematically it's not your favorite. I think right. But, um, yeah, M- Mister Sinister sounds good. Apocalypse sounds good. Yeah, um, my favorite X Men of all time from I'm also a child of the '90s is Iceman. Like, yeah, Iceman really feels like he's missing. When when I was a kid and we played superheroes, I was Iceman. Every single time, like, where is Iceman? We don't have Iceman. We don't have Beast. We don't have Angel. Right. right? We have Angel as a as an ally, and he's a great ally, by the way. Um, yeah. But we have we have him as an ally. Um, in the Apocalypse, he would be a villain because this would be when he gets his metal wings and becomes Archangel. Archangel, right? Um, yes. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know how they do that. But I mean, if we can have double two nebulas and Gamora can be a nemesis and a ally and a hero and whatever they could, they could figure out a way to give us angel and archangel. So yeah, um, exactly. And you know, uh, other cards that we, that I would love to see would be, you know, so we have the forge ally. Um, I would love a cable, a Bishop, mm-hmm. a, a Nimrod villain would be great. Okay. Um, that, that that whole you know feature arc, there's a lot of stuff to do there, and then I expect after we see the X Men arc come to close, I would ex- I, I know a lot of people are asking for a Defenders arc, but I would expect that it's going to be a Fantastic Four arc, due to the fact that I know there's uh, been rumors about a Fantastic Four movie coming in down the pipeline, and I you know it, it would they they would definitely want to have something for Fantastic Four out before sure. the movie or around that time. Right, so right. it's going to be interesting to see their release schedule for this next year. Now, there's other mutants than X-Men. Correct. Do you follow or care about them? Like, um, there are other X-teams, like Excalibur. Excalibur, think- X-Force, X-Factor. Right. Um, th- those are your big ones that come to mind. Um, new mutants, which would be like the, the younger um, X-Men. Okay, right. I think I saw that movie. It wasn't very good. No, they, they, <laughs> they have they have never done the New Mutants 
justice in any kind of media <laughs> form. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it, there there is definitely. In fact, uh, Nightcrawler, I believe, was a member of Excalibur and X Force at one point. So okay. he he's kind of your tie-in character that could be branched off. We have people from X Factor, which Multiple Man and Warlock. Warlock, both, yeah, okay. Yep. I both are X Factor or X Force. I, I think they're X Factor. X, yeah, I think X Factor. I think you're at least Warlock. I think is. Yeah. So we definitely see some hints towards that. Even Forge, which says uh, get an X Men or an X Factor uh, or X Force, one one of those. Um, item so you know th- there's some setup for the feature there with with the forge ally right if there's if there's all these various x teams they could give us some other x boxes you know and yep. then there's other really good mutants that come from that universe you know whether it's the the modox so you know the uh, the the um the savage lands um you have your cosmic era there that would tie in with galaxy with guardians of the galaxy so there there's a, a lot of more things that they can do um which i would love to see yeah i think they have we have years of content still huh. yes <laughs> yeah. uh, as long as i keep putting out good content i think people keep playing keep buying so yep all right well that's our x-men for xmas magical christmas land you wanted <laughs> Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool okay. and Magneto are, are, and are Magneto. what I would love to see the most. <laughs> and both of them lean a little bit towards our critical encounters. I mean, so I'm I'm yeah. all for it. I, you have our vote as uh, who we need next. So uh, it looks like we get Iceman in there too. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, man, thanks for coming on and just chatting for a few minutes with me all about the X-Men and what what we like and what we want to see. It's been great having you on. And we're going to have to have you back on for a regular episode at some point. Yeah, definitely. Well, do you have anything else you want to add or say to the community out there during this holiday season? Uh, Other than just make sure to, you know, check out Marvel Champions Monthly. We definitely do, you know, uh, a bigger episode once a month that are usually once every two weeks. We've been doing it bi-weekly right now. where we talk a lot about the hero side. So if you're getting a lot of information over here with the villains, come on over to the uh, light sometimes and check out, you know, some of the, the, the hero stuff. All right. Well, that's enough to- hero talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Crimson. Uh, good night, everyone. Good night. Hey folks. Hope you enjoyed that. That was our special gift to you. You want to send us holiday gifts. You can email us at critical encounters pod at gmail.com. We are Critical Encounters on Facebook, or you can find us on YouTube by searching for Critical Encounters Podcast. And on Discord, we are Vardine, Big Fun Bloaf, and Watering Tuke. If you like our show, tell Santa. If you don't like our show, tell Krampus. Good night, everyone. <laughs>